Ryan, congratulations on your victory here tonight. First and foremost, I want to get your thoughts on everything that went down and the cage. How do you think everything went? Uh, it went really well, you know. I know after that second round, he started gas. I was a little tired. Uh, we both anticipated a first round finish. And uh, I, how many seconds in the second round was it? Like, what, 10, 13 yeah, seconds? Yeah. yeah, so I got the, the TKO in the second round. Uh, so yeah, I mean, what's that I anticipated or finished, uh, wanted a first round finish, but beginning of the second round, I'll take it. What did this victory mean to you? Uh, it means everything. I'm going through a lot in my life, personally, mentally, and uh, I mean, especially with COVID and everything that happened, I got to fight once. I'm usually fighting three to five times a year. So uh, I'm blessed to have George give me a call and, and put on a great show at LXF7. And uh, what a beautiful way to get a finish. And like I did, you know, at Commerce Casino. You know, you mentioned the fact that we had COVID and you weren't able to take as many fights as you're used to. So, you know, you're finally having this fight here today. I want to kind of get an idea of how you think the time off sort of helped you as a fighter. Uh, for one, it definitely helped my body. You know, like I just said, I'm usually fighting three to five times a year. So the time off actually helped me a lot uh, physically and, uh, you know, let me just learn more in the gym, you know. So a lot of the learning is when you don't have a fight coming up. So when you're fighting three to five times a year, you're just training, training, training in a fight camp and not really learning, it's, you know, tuning, fine tuning stuff. So with the time off, I really got to learn new, new tricks and tools that I obviously got to uh, use and perform tonight. So I do have to ask you, I feel like every fighter in all of their fights, they kind of learn something new about themselves, whether it's something that you got to work on or something that you kind of didn't know you had in you until you're in that cage. Was there anything like that for you here tonight? Just never give up. You know, my nickname is The Lion. You know, I've never seen a lion give up in my life. So, you know, stay in there, have heart. You can train every day, but you can't teach heart. You can't buy it. You're either born with it or you're not. And some people have it, some people don't. So The Lion has the heart. Now, I do want to know, what is next for you? What is your plan? You know, we're heading into 2022. What is your goal for the year? Yeah, George said uh, the next card's February. Uh, you know, a little birdie whistled in my ear. If I get the W tonight, I'm fighting for the title next. So uh, I fought Albert Morales for the Bantamweight title. Uh, he ended up winning that via docked stoppage. My eye got sold up. We were both ready to go for the third round. Uh, so I'm not saying I want to fight him, I would or that featherweight title. So I moved up a weight class to featherweight this time. And with the short camp, I'll stick with featherweight, but with a big long camp, I'll go back to bantamweight if it's worth it. But I'm not sitting there trying to cut weight, especially in turkey season. You know, it's, it's now December, it's holiday season. You know, January, February, you know, that's when the diet starts in January 1st, right? Everyone goes back to the gym and, you know, so I'm glad I moved up a weight class, enjoyed my Thanksgiving, and now I get to enjoy some alcohol. Oh yeah, you know, you mentioned it's a turkey season. We got tamale season coming up. It's all coming to us. But I do want to ask you my last question for you for tonight is, how are you going to celebrate your victory? Yeah, I got a lot of people here from all around the state, California. And uh, yeah, so I'm just about to go say hi to them. You know, get me a rum and coke and cheers to my fans and watch this good main event they have going on. Fantastic, thank you so much for speaking to me. Enjoy the rest of your night, congratulations. Lights out.